I am Anil Kumar. Welcome back. Here we will see the solution of question number 3 on circles and tangents. The equation is given in standard form. We will see how do we find the center, the radius and tangent line is given the point of intersection. In case you want to learn from me, you can always join my classes by sending an email on the address given. Let us now Enjoy the journey of success. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll look into details of solving question number three from the set of three questions based on equation of circle and tangents. Now, these are examination style questions which we see in some very important test papers. Earlier we had solved question number one which you can see on my screen whose solution was something like this. Then we solved question number two whose solution was something like this and now we are going to take a Solution of question number three. The question is a line y equals to 3x plus k is tangent to the circle x square plus y square minus 10x plus 4y plus 11 equals to 0. Find the center of the circle, find the radius of the circle, find possible value of k. This line is tangent to the circle. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, feel free to send an email on the address given. We can discuss a plan. Now, the equation given to us x square plus y square minus 10x plus 4y plus 11 equals to 0 is the equation of circle in standard form. So many of you could directly give the answer for part A and B. Find the center of the circle. As you know, some of you will write down straight away the center of the circle is 5 minus 2. And similarly, they can also tell the answer for part B, right? Then how do we find the possible value of k? That will involve some working with the quadratic equations. With that in mind, I would like you to make an attempt to solve this question and then look into my suggestions. Now, there is definitely a shortcut method and from the general equation of a circle, you can always find the center. Let us adopt the normal method. So, what I say normal method is something like this. We are given the equation of the circle as x square plus y square minus 10x plus 4y plus 11 equals to 0. We do the operation of completing the squares so that we could write the equation of circle with the center points and the radius, right? Let's see how do we do that. Now, the midterm x squared and minus 10x. Now, from here, half of 10 is 5, right? So, what we do here is we add 5 squared on both the sides, right? So, here also we'll add 5 squared. Now, for the y values, half of 4 is 2. And therefore, we are going to add 2 squared on the left side and on the right side. Now, this addition makes the three components as perfect square. If you look into x square minus 10x and 5 square, you would always write this as x minus, because minus 10x, x minus 5 whole square. You get the idea. Similarly, if you look into the y components, then you could write that as y plus 2 
whole square. We have plus 11 here. We can take it to the right hand side, right? So we can write this as on the right hand side, we got 5 square and 2 square. Let me write 5 square and 2 square as such now. And I'm taking 11 from the other side. Now you see from here, we have the equation of the circle, right? So as you can see, we have the equation as x minus 5 whole square plus y plus 2 whole square equals to 5 square plus 2 square minus 11. And from here, you can easily get all the parameters, right? You have the center at 5 and minus 2 as we had thought about. And the radius is also there for you. So what is the value of radius? Radius is square root of the right hand side, right? Square root of the right hand side. So let's find this. Let's calculate this also. We get x minus 5 whole square plus y plus 2 whole square equals to 25 plus 4, which is 29 minus 11. So 29 minus 11 will give us 18, right? Now, 18 means, let me write down here, square root of 18 is the radius, right? That is the equation. So square root of 18, 18 can be written as 9 times 2, right? And then in simplified form, this can be written as 3 square root 2. So that becomes the radius of this particular circle. Is this concept clear to you, right? So finally, we have the equation of the circle, which I am going to now write x minus 5 whole square plus y plus 2 whole square equals to 18, right? So that is how we get the center as well as the radius of the circle. So I hope you understand this completing the squares method to easily find both the parameters if you do not remember the shortcut. The shortcut is clear. Minus half of coefficient of x and y gives you h and k values for the circle, right? And the radius is, you can see the formula, right? So, the square subtract with c value, clear. Now, let's look into part c, which is aligned y equals to 3x plus k is tangent to the circle, find possible values, value of k. Okay, so we've done this part. Let's look into uh, next part, which is we have the equation of the circle and we need to find the value of k so that it is tangent. So that reminds you of uh, solving quadratic equations with b square minus 4ac, right? You remember that? So discriminant normally we write d, which is b square minus 4ac, right? Now, b square minus 4ac equal to 0 will imply that there is a tangent. You get the idea. So, that should give us the answer for k. So, we have the equation which is x square plus y square minus 10x plus 4y plus 11 equals to 0. And the other equation is y equals to 3x plus k. What you need to do is substitute y with 3x plus k. So we get what? We get x squared plus y is 3x plus k minus 10x plus 4 times 3x plus k plus 11 equals to 0. Let us expand. So uh, this term is squared, right? 3x plus k whole squared, right? So let's expand and we get what? a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? So we get 9x square plus 2 times will be 6kx plus k square. And here we have minus 10x multiplying by 4. We get 12x plus 4k plus 11 equals to 0. Now, let us write down the quadratic equation combining the x square terms, right? So, if I combine these two, which are the x square terms, and then the x terms, which is this, these are the x terms, and rest are the constants, you get the idea. So, so what we get here is 
x square plus 9 x square will give us 10 x square, right? And then we have plus the x terms is 6k and here we have minus 10 and 12 x, right? That gives you plus 2, right? So, here we get 6k plus 2 and both are coefficients of x and then the constant terms which are k square plus 4k plus 11. Is that clear to you? So, this is the quadratic equation which we have and now here b square minus 4 is, is what we have to do. So, and equate it to 0, right? So, what is b square? b squared is 6k plus 2. So, let's write down. So, we have 6k plus 2 whole square minus 4 times a is 10 and constant is k square plus 4k plus 11, right? We have to equate that to 0 for tangent. Do you understand? Tangent means one common point. or one real solution. Is that clear to you? So, that is how we have to figure this out. Now, we can expand and simplify. So, expanding, what do we get? Well, 6k square. So, you have to be slightly careful at this stage. 6 is 36k square plus 2ab. 4 times 6 is 24. 24k plus 4 minus. Uh, Multiply each by 40. So, you get 40 k square and then minus 4 times 4 is 16. So, 160 k and minus 440 equals to 0. Okay. So, that's the equation which you get. Now, you can simplify uh, dividing by 4, for example, right? So, let's divide by 4. So, we get 9 k square plus 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1 and this is minus 10 k square and 4 goes for 40 k, right? Minus 110 equals to 0. So, combining the terms 9 k square and minus 10 k square gives us minus k square and then we have 6k and minus uh, 40k which gives us minus 34k, right? The constants 110 and 1 will give you uh, minus 109 equals to 0. Is that clear to you? Or you could just take care of all the minuses. And then you say k square plus 34k plus 109 equals to 0. So, that gives you the value of k. And now, you can use the quadratic formula to find the value of k, right? So, what could k be? So, k equals to minus b, which is minus 34, plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times a, a is 1, times c, which is 109, square root over 2 times a, which is 2. Is that clear to you? So, what you need to do is find this answer. You can use the calculator and find this answer. So, let's use it. So, 34 squared minus 4 times 109. That gives you 720. And square root of this answer is 12 square root 5. So, let's take it on the next page. Minus 34 plus minus. So, we have k equals to minus 34 plus minus. Uh, what do we have? Uh, within square root, we calculated this as 12 square root 5 divided by 2, right? So, that could be minus 17 plus minus 6 square root 5. So, that is how you could actually 
get the solution of your question, right? So, well, I'd like you to try out these calculations on your own so that you're sure what the real answer is, right? But here is a method to do it. I hope you understand and appreciate it. So with that, we come to an end of our test series on circles and tangents. Well, we talked about question number one and its solution as given here. So in question number one, we need to find the equation of a circle through a given point which touches the y-axis, right? So you can go through the video, separate video on its solution. And then we looked into the solution of question number two, which was also in three different parts, right? So you can look into this uh, solution of question number two, where it was very interesting to see how a line, which is tangent to a circle with given center, will also be tangent at another point, and how do we figure this out, right? And then our last question, which is based on finding the tangent to the circle given to us and also understanding the standard equation of the circle. I hope that really helps. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thank you and all the best.